Chuck McCann and Jimmy McGeorge were teamed by Stan Laurel 35 years ago. Chuck McCann and Jimmy McGeorge are accomplished actors. Well, everybody knows that. Have <laughs> <laughs> appeared in films, stage, and television. Bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Avery Shriver, who's been doing Billy Gilbert for all of five minutes, <laughs> has had a stellar career as a comedian and actor. So let's hear it for these three incredible performers. What do you say? same fella you were looking for. I was looking for you. Why didn't you say so? I could have found me right away. <laughs> Isn't this remarkable, Stanley? My name is Oliver Hardy. This is Stanley Law. Is this something? <laughs> Boy, this sure brings back memories. Does it, Stan? Not to me. I've never been here before. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean appearing in front of a big audience, strutting the boards, working in front of a live orchestra. Certainly you have memories of that, don't you? Well, yeah, but I left them at home. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about memories of the head. Well, that's where I left them, at home in the head. <laughs> Why were you late? Well, I couldn't help it, darling. Yeah? I set the alarm for seven. Well? Well, there were eight of us. <laughs> and then I had to go by the doctors. I, I went by the, uh, the bank, mm -hmm. and, 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 and I said to the teller, would you check my balance? And what did the teller do? She pushed me. <laughs> like this? Yeah. She's right. You don't have a balance. Well, and then, you know, I had to go by the doctor's office. Oh, for your annual checkup. No, I'm going to do that once a year. <laughs> what the doctor say? Well, he examined me and he said that I could do anything I want. But it better be this week. <laughs> And you could go any minute. Which is kind of nice because I haven't gone in three days. <laughs> and you know, my, oh! my book. Uh, I heard about your friend who passed away. Yeah. I read it in the obituary column. No. Every time I read that column, I'm surprised that people die in alphabetical order. <laughs> I understand he was the uh, editor of the crossword puzzle for the Times. That's right. Yes. Did you go to the funeral? I sure did. Where was it? They buried him six down and three across. <laughs> six down and three across. You know something, Ali? I've been reading a lot of books lately, and I'm getting smarter all the time. Yeah, well, you could fool me. All right. You name any state in the Union, and I'll tell you the capital of that state. I name any state in the Union, you'll tell me the capital of that state. Right. All right. Massachusetts. Capital M. <laughs> Philadelphia. Capital F. Oh, stop. Capital S, capital M. Would you 
keep quiet. I, never mind. Maestro, please. In the mountains of Virginia is a lonesome pine. Far below is the cabin of a lonely little girl of mine. Her name is June, and very, very soon she belongs to me. And I do. Hold it a minute, please. Here I'm singing my song, and you're doing. Wait, look, I found a ten dollar bill right down there. Where? Right there. Well, you better put it back. The person who's looking for that would probably come up here and want it. Well, well, I, I tell you what, I think those people lost it over there. I'll ask them. Excuse me. Hey! What? Now, give me the money. Did you lose it? Did I win? Let me check. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let me have it. Will you hand it Whose picture is on the front of this here? Johnson. What's his first name? Magic. <laughs> Smeared, I can't. Do you know the serial number? I certainly do. But to refresh my memory, why don't you tell me? B, one, seven. That's it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm you, Stanley. You are as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Maestro, please. Well, do you happen to recall that two months ago I went to a 20? No. Oh, that's right. I'm... Mm -mm. <laughs> I certainly do. Well, look. Tell you what. I've only got 10. Here's 10. I'll owe you 10. Thank you, boys. You're welcome, Mr. Hey, Gilbert. Oh, Mr. Gilbert. Yes, then. Do you remember you needed gas and I gave you $20? Yes, I do. I only have ten. Take ten, and I'll owe you ten. Thank you. Hey, what? not so fast with the ten ski. Do you remember you were up at the movie theater with your nephew, and you didn't have your money, and I lent you twenty? Well, I, I don't have twenty, but I can give you ten. All right, and you'll owe me ten. I'll owe you ten. Ten I owe you. <laughs> Here's the 10 I owe you. Thank you. <laughs> Maestro, please. On the mountain in Virginia stands a lonesome. Far below is the cabin of a love. Girl of mine, her name is June, and very, very soon she'll belong to me. For I know that she'll be waiting there beneath that lone pine tree. In the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. Trail. 
Father, come out and take a bow. Let's bring him out here. Chuck, Jimmy McGeorge, Avery Schreiber, come out here. Let's give it. Let's hear it. Come. I've always, I've always wanted to say this. I've always wanted to say this to Jesse. Hi, guy. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> McGeorge and Avery Stryver, let's hear it. Woo! Now we're going to take about a little 10 minute intermission so you can go do what you have to do. And uh, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> 